All right, everybody, welcome, welcome back. This is Zero with our first Tuesday night stream. Now, Tuesday nights are normally going to be filled with the newest releases. Probably Tuesday and Thursday will be new releases of the week. Um, for tonight, we are doing a new release, but an old favorite. This is Neverwinter. It is now out for the PlayStation 4, and so we are going to uh, just have some fun, man. We're going to have some fun. I can't wait to get into this setting up the stream right now i think everything is good to go so let's just go ahead and save and uh and then we will start we're going to be starting a fresh playthrough tonight um and this is going to be the game that competes my with overwatch in my time so th these two games until skyrim remastered comes out uh, there's going to be a lot of competition between this and Overwatch, but since I play Overwatch on PC and the new character, hero, Anna, did not come out on uh, PlayStation yet, um, and I don't have access to Public Test Realm to show her off, we are going to just play some Neverwinter, so let's go ahead and get into it. Very excited for this, now on PlayStation. I have heard that it runs better. The graphics may have been dulled down slightly, right? so hopefully we are in for... For at least some good gameplay. I'm gonna go ahead and watch the opening video. Cleric, 
All right, here we go. Guys, what an amazing video. That always gets me pumped. I'm a pretty big Forgotten Realms fan. I like Dungeons & Dragons. Never really got into the old school Dungeons & Dragons. Probably played that just a couple of times. Um, but read a ton of Forgotten Realms books. Um, really, really like uh, Dungeons & Dragons style stuff. So this will be kind of fun. Uh, Bryce, sorry I did not answer you during the videos. I try to make cutscenes more movie-like. Let's not to talk during the movie. Everybody appreciates that, but uh, here we go. I guess one other thing to point out is uh, future live streams on this channel it probably will include the face cam, but well, that Engato is still getting fixed, um, I am streaming from the PlayStation directly, so uh, I'm not really impressed with the PlayStation camera at the moment, so as, as soon as the Elgato is sent back to me, then we will uh, be going strong. But anyway, let's get into this. I was thinking a caster. Um, that's what I'm thinking we're going to play, but what... Uh, what race is the question? So, all right. So the human, the half orc, the wood elf. Always liked the wood elves. Very nimble. Uh, but high elf probably is where we're going to want to be, or sun elf. All right. Sun elves have lived apart in the events of the world's thousands of years. They mimic. Uh, anybody watching on the PlayStation uh, through PSN, feel free to join us over on YouTube at uh, my channel Zero Hill to join into the chat. But I think, you know, it's just hard to type from a PlayStation controller. Alright, uh, Dwarf, Halfling, the Half-Elf. Hmm, plagued by a dark and sinister heritage. I don't know if I want to necessarily go evil. Oh, the dro. Well, I'm not going to go. If I was going to go like a rogue, I would pick the uh, the drow. Let's go. Let's try Sun Elf. Let me go Sun Elf Caster. Let's see what we can, what we can pick. A Control Wizard. I think that is where it's going to be. It's either that or the Warlock. So uh, let's check them both out. Uh, no solely here. If you want to deal damage, you're tougher than other Warlocks. All right, so Vampiric Embrace, Warlock Curse. There's no way to, uh... oh, skim over. Oh, here we go. Perfect. I was wondering without mouse and keyboard how this was going to play out. All right, received 20% damage as well. Vampiric Embrace, 75% of the damage in two hit points. That might be nice as a caster, especially without a group to start out. Alright, um, and then the other option is the control wizard. Oop, back out of there. Let's check this out. Uh, magic missile. Three missiles adds to the stack of the arcane mastery. Uh, chill strike, stunning them, adding a chill. So I'll interact with objects. Alright, to create a powerful singularity that sucks in all enemies in a large area. When cast, gain stack arcane mastery. Okay, this is going to be hard. So control wizard or scourge warlock is where it's really coming down to. Um, I'm kind of interested in the paladins. And I think that um, if I didn't have my heart set on doing a caster, I would probably, uh, probably pick either a hunter or a paladin. Probably the paladin. Um, so, I don't know, we'll start out tonight as a caster, and then uh, if it if it looks like we want to uh, change up, then we will go back and do, like, a Dwarven Paladin or something like that. Um, Alright, I am going to go, I believe, I think I'm going to go, oh man, this is hard. This is so hard. Alright, the I think the Warlock. The Warlock? Nope, the Control Wizard. Alright, we're doing Control Wizard. Racial ability bonus, choose one. Do we want the int in the dex or the int in the charisma? I wish, there, are we going to be able to see? All right, so definitely. All right, it's the primary attribute. We definitely want that. And the charisma uh, measures force, personality, persuasiveness, and leadership. Measures right hand agility, reflexes, and balance. I think what I'm going to do is end up taking the charisma as my... Let's go with let's go with that, right? Because we're gonna get a little bit more persuasive leadership. We are a leader. We are definitely a leader. All right. Uh, I need to make myself 
look fairly sweet. Do we have a auto pick? No, we do not. All right. Just a little bit of hair. Got the braids going. This kind of looks almost anime-ish. A little anime style. Um, I'm going to go for the more longer hair. This is going to be the, the older, wiser wizard. So between that and uh, this is a little bit longer, too. He looks a little younger. This one looks a little bit older. So let's go with that. Well, we'll have to gray it out. I always take my wizards with long gray hair. Oh, actually, we can change it up even more here. I don't want that. That looks that looks crazy. All right, so uh, we want the long, wavy. Don't need wavy. All right, let's stick with the long. All right, eyes, tattoos. I don't think any of this stuff is really necessary. Oh, no, wait, never mind. I'm sorry. That scar is going to be pretty sweet. So we'll take the scar. Elven toned is by default. I'm going to go with elven toned. Somehow I've gotten some pretty good workouts. All right, and that's it. And then the head. I want the aged face. That doesn't even look aged. Oh, here we go. Let's get it better. Kind of looks, kind of looks weird. Right, none of these faces are. These are all the aged. None of them are particularly good. I'd say this one's probably the, the best. So we'll go with that. But I'm going to change my eyes to full colored. Alright, that's it. We are done. We're going to get into this game. Alright, the deity affiliation. Now we need to decide where we're going to make our mark. Passage over to Light to Death. But definitely, if I'm going the uh, control wizard, I think I'm going to be a good guy. I'll probably work, work on the side of righteousness. Not necessarily the side of the church. Dwarven race. Alright, a lot of different... Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and work for the... I guess let's just go ahead and work for the church. Well, the Tempest, I got a battle. And uh, all warriors, not really feeling these deities, to tell you the truth. Definitely not working for the undead. Let's go ahead and... Uh, and stick with our magic deity. All right, and then the origins. Oh, this is cool. So we can we can move out. Oh man, should we? My origin will be from Baldur's Gate. Bring this will bring me back. Let's go ahead and uh, this will be my origin. Uh, select the origin variant section. This the favor has no effect on gameplay. So. Mercenary, a uh, refugee, or a swashbuckler. Oh, I don't necessarily want to be a swashbuckler. Maybe we shouldn't have picked Baldur's Gate. Maybe that was a, a weird choice for us. Whatever, we're doing it. Uh, we will have a company, the Flaming Fist Mercenary Company. It's in a power in Baldur's Gate, and I'm part of them, and I am part of them. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Let's do it, guys. Time to begin the adventure. It is your lucky day, Midori. How you doing? When was the last time you played this? Long time ago? Alright, so move with the left, 
Patrol with the right. Seems pretty basic. Move to private Wilfred. Press X the gods. from post to when talk I to saw the Draculich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? Such troubled times. Um, well, I guess... Ah, uh, yes, that's my Sorry. business, bud. Didn't mean to pry. It's just now is not a good time to be traveling here. As you may have noticed, Neverwinter is under attack. The necromancer Belindra is assaulting the city with her undead legions. Search the wreckage along the shore for your gear. It's dangerous to go unarmed right now. When you finish, head up to the camp at the top of the hill. They've got a nice warm fire up there. You'll feel better once you've dried out. Oh, thanks for the advice there, buddy. Your next objective. The path can be toggled from the mission journal found in the main menu. Alright, so for you veterans, obviously this is all old stuff, but as part one I will go through most of the tutorial stuff here. Alright, so it looks like I just got the one. Am I able to look at my items? Inventory. The robe. Alright, we're gonna equip. Very nice. Ooh, Mr. Mr. Grimm. How are you? Uh, he doesn't want to pick up that sword, so I guess all we're getting here is this knight's outfit. Around 2014. I, uh, I never played it on Xbox, but I did play it on the computer a long time ago. It wasn't bad. I think at the time, though, because I was playing WoW still, it just it didn't hold me. Um, the fact that it came out now for PS4, I think, was just right up my alley. It was time to give it another check. We had to check it out. Good to meet you. Okay, he looked like I was supposed to go talk to him. He looks like he's... Alright, search for gear. Alright, I, I guess I didn't get my weapon. It must still be down here. The guys are probably screaming, like, Why are you going? Why did you not get that? Okay, playing these games on a console, you still feel like you should be able to uh, jump. I mean, you're pressing X. Alright, oh, here we go. Press L1 and left button to open your inventory. Select an item to equip it. Alright. Press the touchpad button to toggle between HUD elements. Alright, that's pretty cool. I like that. Quest tracker displays current quest objectives. And then circle to get out of it. So you just hit the HUD and look around. I can see this definitely being uh, more attuned to like a, a two or three person group if you have a friend to venture around with. But for tonight, we're probably going to be on our own. Unless we get a dungeon group or something. Alright, once again, heal at the campfire. I just, I want to move on apparently a little too soon. Alright, now we can talk to him. Let's do it. It's good to see someone survive the attack on the ship. When you feel ready, please speak to me again. I'm afraid I need your help. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and speak right away. It's happy plays. Can't wait for the full release. Yes, this is the early access. It comes out next week, though. It will be uh, free to play next week. I believe the 19th. Mindless undead who lost their masters in the fighting. To make matters worse, the enemy is raising our dead to use against us. Acolyte Name is performing a ritual of Kelenkor to let Alright, we get the idea. I'm gonna go ahead and launch magic missiles at a single enemy. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Alright, I might have to out of range. Oh yeah, I can definitely deal, definitely deal with the wizard. All right, gonna have to make sure I get out of my, out of the way though. Thank you. Oh, check that out. So I'm pressing down on L3. Oh man. It's pretty good, worth playing early. I, you know what? I thought so. With the stuff that you got, you got a mount, you got a bunch of different things uh, to play early. 
and it just seemed like if I was going to play it, why not get that stuff? I'm also not big on microtransactions. Um, I've had a couple of rant videos on microtransactions, and it, it's not that I think they're bad for everyone, they're just not the kind of thing I like. So paying to get a couple items up front and then just knowing that I'm not going to buy anything down the road is uh, the way to go for me. I appreciate the option to do so, and I think that's what I like the most about this. Is she going to get them? I'm not going to get them. Uh, i got to go find somebody else. We got to level 16. Oh, man. On this version? Thank you. That's crazy. All right, we need to go to the next camp. All right, so we have this spell attached to R2. The only thing I wish is that maybe it was down in the bottom. That it gets said R2, so I would know where my stuff is mapped to. Because, like, that, uh... That is amazing. That's just really cool. I'm going to be porting in and out of everywhere. Alright. Probably just sit out here and grind. I might as well continue on for you guys. Press L1 and like... X to jump. Okay, L1 and X to jump. That's a little crappy, but it is a controller, so I can see having those issues. Level 2. Very nice. We were lucky to drive Valindra's forces back. Thank you for aiding the wounded. They wouldn't have survived much longer with all the undead roving about. I'll try to get medical supplies and reinforcements to Linklater as soon as possible. Unfortunately, we've got problems of our own here. I like when dwarfs sound like dwarfs, and this dwarf definitely sounds like a dwarf, so... I'm afraid I have a gruesome task for you. We've driven Valindra's main army off, but our faithless of allies have still harassed us to summon their dead. Private Hothedon is trying to drive them off with his archers, but they're short on ammo. Search the battlefield and scavenge some arrows for the dead. Alright, so we're going to search the battlefield, scavenge some arrows. Um, yeah, I definitely like the voiceover for all quests so far. That's kind of cool. Oh, man. Alright, let me collect those arrows. Three out of nine already. Oh, my God. Alright, this looks like a quest guy, so let me go ahead and try this Ray of Frost first. Oh! Very sweet. And then the teleport out. Man, I am never going to get tired of doing that teleport. It's like a blink. I'm loving it. Blink back. Look at they're dying so fast I don't even have a chance. Let me get the arrows first and then I'll talk to this guy. My uh, MMO mind makes me think that he's going to give me another quest for this area. Yeah, the beginning of the games, uh, of these type of games, are always a little slow with the tutorial and the and the couple of fetch quests, but hopefully it will open up. Your questions if I can. But Duth Valindra had a Dracovich under her control when she attacked Neverwinter. It attacked ships in the harbor and then came straight for the city. My friends and I were helping Sergeant Knox defend the walls when it attacked. There was a terrific battle. And we were able to defeat it. I don't know how Valindra got a Dracovich. Perhaps a deal with the cult of the dragon. The important thing is that we deprive her of it. When a Dracovich is killed, its spirit returns to a special phylactery. From there, it can possess the body of another dragon and be reborn. This ah, Dracovich's very interesting. spirit has not departed yet. I am trying to bind it here. If it cannot return to the phylactery, we may be able to destroy it and deprive the Nindra of a powerful ally. Now he looks like a warlock. I really wonder if I should have went warlock now. I mean, he looks pretty sweet. Oh! Got that blink and then took him. I can't wait to get into a group and, uh,. Be able to use these skills. All right, store arrows in a barrel. Let's go ahead. Eat 
did he didn't get a hit on me. I thought he was going to. Oh, I gotta run these arrows all the way down here. Barrels on the other side of the world, I guess. Alright, that's just super cool. I wonder how much you can use it. It doesn't seem to... Alright, the stamina is required. Go ahead. Just make sure we're all healed up and store them in this barrel. We must drive the wizards back. Really appreciate all the voiced over uh, quest dialogue. It's pretty sweet. Thank you for the help. The Red Wizards haven't been driven away, but this will at least force them to keep their heads down. All right, level three. Definitely moving up uh, pretty quickly. More undead are attacking Neverwinter. They're boiling out of Castle Never and storming the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. If the bridge falls, they will enter the heart of the city. Protect his enclave. I must stay and deal with the Red Wizards. Please, go to the bridge and... Square to launch a chill strike, impaling and freezing an enemy with a shard of ice. Oh! Alright, can we get another one? It's still recharging. Alright, as a wizard, I feel I'm going to be uh, taking some damage here and there on these enemies. It's usually easier to go warrior paladin uh, at the start. But we wanted to have fun. These are level 3 guys too, so it's a good thing we leveled up. Uh, wow, we already killed everybody that we needed to. So we'll just continue on our way. Hopefully we won't have any more problems. Let's get this guy. He looks like he wanted to die. I feel I'm pretty powerful now. Oh, is that just me or what? The controller is taking a little bit to get used to, but it's not bad. They have it laid out pretty well. Good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the beach. Told you trying out by the fire would do you good. My mother always says, warm clothes make for a warm heart. You've thinned out the skeletons enough that we should be able to slip through the gate safely. Linklater gave me some healing potions for you. You may need them on the bridge. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. Select a location to travel to it. Alright, what is the load time like in this game? That is a good question. Okay, extremely fast. That is a definite plus. We must go to their aid. That is a surprise. I really did not expect the load time to go that quick. Nice. I knew it was going to be a popular move. Oh, I got uh, Private with me here. He could have went up there and interfered with him a little bit. They just keep coming. Yeah, really happy with the load times. That can make a break a game like this, uh, when I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of moving from area to area later on. Alright, Wilford, come on, you need to get up in there. This is where playing with your buddy would make it a little bit easier. You don't have to aim directly at them, you just have to be like in the vicinity, so that's kind of nice too. It's, it's not penalizing you uh, for poor aim, and it was a good, a good idea for a controller-based MMO. Alright, switch around the skills a little to keep it interesting here. Wow. 
none of these guys have been able to loot. I don't know if I've just missed that or if that's just how it is right now. Charge slightly. Well, for you're what you're doing like nothing. Oh, Deathlock. Whoa. Okay. Very neat. I like the uh, the action, and we're actually able to like dodge attacks. Could have very easily just made this. Uh, like Warcraft style. I guess older Warcraft was there was a lot of dodging, not standing in the in the goo. But maybe I should have said more EverQuest style. Just walk up to someone and press the attack. Speaking of which. Why have they never put out an EverQuest port for, like, PlayStation? I would definitely play old-school EverQuest on a PS4. Alright, Wilford, come on, man. I'm trusting on you. Wilford alright? Yeah, he's... Just tugging along in the back. Well, that's the end of poor Wilford. Oh, crap. Really? Okay, it's gonna be like that, is it? Take these guys out first. Doesn't look like he's coming yet. Alright. Did not get out of that one. Close. No cigar. Oh, he actually froze him completely. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we got to play the game the way it wants to be played. Which means we are fighting him in this corridor here. Freeze them, baby. I, that is so cool that it actually freezes them all the way like that. I was a little disappointed there when he's, his life went back up, but that's cool. Oh yeah, stamina is uh, probably getting low with all those teleports. Get him, can we get him? Alright. Give me my loot. So I guess the loot is just gonna end on the ground, so that's kinda neat. Uh, speak to Wilford. Oh, he's over here. It would take years to port EverQuest. It, you know what? It probably would, but guess what? They have years, and they've had years. You have to stop I her. accidentally shot through that too quick, so sorry about that, guys. But he's better than the alternative. If Never Ember fails here, Valindra will rule Neverwinter. Find Sergeant Knox. 
He's one of Never Ember's guards. One of the good ones. You must stop. Valindra. Alright, we will. We will, good sir. I won't say you fought valiantly for me, but you did, uh... You did kind of walk with me across the bridge. Never winter the tutorial, guys. The tutorial is over. And now we move into the base game. So when we'll probably be let off onto our own to to play around. Same with WoW. Yeah, but remember with EverQuest, uh, what was it PlayStation 3 when they came out with like EverQuest Adventures? Was that what it's called? EverQuest Adventures? I know it wasn't the same thing. It was actually it was actually quite rough, but I think nowadays with the new systems and online and the fact that pretty much everything can be you know, it doesn't have to be on the disc. It's all going to be on a server somewhere. Uh, Alright. Oh, we got people running around. Everybody's having a good time. Um, I don't know how... This guy's level 5 and on a horse. Now, with the early access pack, you are supposed to get a mount. So I don't know where that mount's going to be. Um, so let's just go run around. The loading time, exceptionally fast. The frame rate in here, very, very good. Um... I heard that the textures and stuff were kind of dulled down in order to make that happen. Um, that could be the case, because it does look, I mean, it does look a little older, but it is playing very well. So, all right, we got the Guild Banker. Let me hit up the mailbox, because this is probably where we might find some of our good stuff. Uh, select the message. All right. Welcome to Neverwinter. All right, uh, take items. Neverwinter Welcome Pack. Alright, let's go ahead and check this out. How do we do that? Oh, an underpay. It's a bound item, and this is also that lesser scroll of identification. And we could probably use it on these items. Identify. Identify these nice items plus two defense for these sweet slippers. Let's go ahead and put them on. And they are showing up on my character. So nice. Let's open the box. All kinds of good stuff. Alright, your Neverwinter Welcome Pack contains a rare quality reward. A bound gift box of dyes. Ooh, look at all those different colored dyes. Very nice. Uh, identification scroll, bound small party popper, and some healing. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we can sell those. Adventurer's reward requires level 5. That is probably where we're going to get like the mount and stuff out of the adventurer's reward. Um, Alright. The path behind me for the special vendor. Is it this special? Greetings. Is there something you wish to discuss? Uh, yes, it's the Dragonborn. Alright, we'll take that quest. I am interested. Uh, check out what's going on over here real quick. Oh, and then we got some, some stuff back there as well. So to interact with people, go up. Uh, press X, so we have the option of inviting people into group, trade, inspect. This guy's already got a tiger? What is that? Holy crap. He's already got a blue tiger going on? Very sweet. That's what I always liked about EverQuest and uh, and WoW and stuff. Just sitting... Like in WoW, just sitting in Agrimar and, and watching help. these people come in. Or, or in EverQuest, and you're, uh, you're outside... Of some dungeon, you know, you're like hanging outside Miss Moore trying to shout for a group, and you got these people running in with just amazing armor. You're like, oh, I just want to inspect it. Just let me inspect it. All right. Wilfred is dead. Damnation. Too young to go out like that. I want to thank you for what you did on the bridge. We might have lost Protector's Enclave if the Harpage had breached the walls. Please, 
Look at the chest behind me for a token of my appreciation. All right. Goodbye, Sergeant. Give me that appreciation. The plain crystal orb. All right. Recommended plus 26 power. Changes if equipped. We get uh, extra power and damage. So the other... My orb now must have zero power. All right. We have to speak to him again, but let's go ahead and open this up. All right. Popped a trophy. Adventure of a lifetime. Probably just uh, completing the tutorial. Uh, once again, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4. Hopefully, starting next week, we'll be back streaming with the Elgato. I uh, have some nice pop-ups during the stream and uh, everything. So I'll try to also stream on PSN for the people that watch there, but feel free to come over to YouTube slash Zero Hill and hang out with us in the chat. All right, uh, before I talk to him, let's open up the items. Oh, we'll have the webcam, we'll have little pop-up notifications for subscribers, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, hopefully starting next week. I'm working with Elgato to get mine fixed at the moment. Uh, okay, riches. I don't want riches. I want to equip this. So that one was 18 to 22 damage. And equip. Yeah, look at negative 9 damage and 26. So very cool. We got a new weapon. I can probably sell these old ones. Let's pick up the next quest from him and then move on. We lost a lot of good people today. Oh, we still didn't get our experience. That's cool. And then we'll pick up the rags to riches quest. I understand you lost quite a few of your belongings when the ship you were on was destroyed by the Dracolich. I can't offer you much, but I can supply you with some off-duty clothing. I'm sure you're going to want to relax and get out of your combat gear at some point. Talk to Supply Sergeant Queen. He's just west of here, through that tunnel. He'll get you sorted out. Alright, uh, Devil Cry, are you talking about through the tunnel? Or was it was it back this way? I keep spinning around too fast, I think, for you. By the time you, by the time I hear what you're saying, is it this guy? Maybe this is the vendor. Well met. A game of orbs. I'm gonna wait on that quest. Oh wow! Look at how big this place is. Okay, uh, let's start with these two quests that we have on us, and then go from there. Because this is where you start to get lost in an MMO. There's so much stuff to do. We could be doing this. Who knows the right direction, right? Alright, uh, this is the Sergeant of Supply. Let's get our Hello, supplies. Hello, adventurer. I heard about what happened on the bridge. When you stopped the Harbinger. We all owe you a debt. Nox asked me to set you up with some clothes to replace those you lost. I'm afraid I don't have anything fancy, but at least they're warm. Take a look in the chest. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and look in the chest. Uh, inventory. Oh, the character sheets. Alright, it's very nice. Armor. Plus one AC. Oh, th this is what we got. We got this peasant shirt. Oh, it actually has defense, though, so that's kind of nice. And the trousers. Very nice. I do want to see... So those... Yeah, see, these items did not... Let's equip. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and equip it. I'm not going to sell it. Not selling either of these. These are mine. And so now if I look at the character screen. Oh, fashion. So it's the fashion. That's neat. So we, we have fashion that does not even attribute to our stats. That's going to be cool. Then we'll be able to spec out our guy how we want and then uh, make him look how we want. That was one of the nice things that they added to uh, Warcraft was the transmogrification that... Uh, and they put that in Diablo and stuff too. It was really cool to just have the have the hero hero that you wanted. Is this is she? She is not. I could try this path as well. Uh, somebody up here, Hall of Justice. And then we'll head back to uh, Sergeant Knox to talk to him. Who's this? There is no time for small talk. 
All right, she has no time to even talk to me. Let's... The Lich Zulkirs have brought ruin to Thay. It is time right, he's for caught. them to be I should, probably shouldn't be talking to him. All right, I, once again, I'm getting a little talked away. Use a scurrying stone. What does this do? Protector's Enclave. Oh, my God, I'm porting out of there. Hopefully we can, we can come back. I don't know what that did. Protectors on play need your help. You're back. Good. I have some more work for you. Here. Twenty experience for that. I'm taking it. I'm surprised we didn't level up. I've gotten a report about some disturbances in the vaults beneath the Hall of Justice. The guards are spread thin after the last attack. But you've proven yourself more than capable. So I'd like to ask you to look into it for me. Oh, no problem. All the gate guards are coming. They'll let you into the vault. Go to the Hall of Justice. We are on our way. Oh, actually, that we are on the path to the Dragon's Breath. So let's use the pad to come over here. Um, bring up, let's bring up the quest journal, and let's actually right back. Let's. How do we change? I want to change off this hide quest path. Draw the quest path. There we go. Right. Uh, on the next streams, hopefully we'll have all the controls down. We won't have this, these type of problems. I'm not getting the quest path, though. Oh, there we go. There it is. I want to get into some more fighting. I want to have a couple more battles. I want to steal these guys' riches. Alright, actually, both of them, then, were over in this area. I might as well talk to him since we're here. Well met, Hero of Neverwinter. Ah, the Hero of Neverwinter has arrived. It is good to finally meet you. I look forward to fighting side by side with you against the Cult of the Dragon. Oh, man, I want to be a dragon. Alright, don't necessarily need to talk to him anymore right now. We are on a mission. Vaults right around the corner. Here we go. All right, here we go into the vaults. All right, you discovered a new campsite. Respawn point unlocked. You're the one Sergeant Knox sent to investigate. Well, I'm glad you're here. We've heard some strange noises from the vault. One of the other guards went to check on it, but he should have been back by now. I have to guard the entrance, but I'll let you through. Find the source of those noises and look for Quartermaster Otis. He'll know what's happening. All right, open that gate, man. I am ready to go. Shouldn't need anybody else with me, right? This is a lonely mage's job. He can do it. Oh boy, here we go, right off the bat. Alright, so we already got some archers. That is definitely going to be the bane of my existence. Archers. Archers are a sorcerer's worst enemy. Sniper goes down first. Hopefully we can use our warp ability to dodge some of the attacks. Alright, this intricate bones. Alright, so well, he didn't make it. It's nice that the quest line continues to move on, but the map is pretty good. And I thought that being that large, it would be kind of in the way, but it's definitely not. Alright, so cool. 
got something over here. Let's check this out. Oh, it requires a thievery skill or kit, so... I'm not going to be able to activate that right now. I'm going to have to find some buddies in town and bring them on these adventures. Those magic missiles are really good. Super strong. Okay. Let's see who else is back in here. Decent amount of guys. The sniper is who we're going to worry about, though, first. Alright, could definitely use some health. We do have these health potions. I have not uh, actually been able to figure out. What What do we do? Just hit down? Yes! Okay, so the directional pad is how you use those items. Probably would have been easy for anybody to figure out but me. A dungeoneering kit to collect tools including maps, picks, and a ten-foot pull. It includes dungeoneering 75's chance of success. Oh, well, neat. And a nature kit. A desert rose. Alright, very cool. So here, let's... Before we check them out... Ah, uh, we got the nature kit and the dungeoneering kit. Profession assets. Where's that desert rose? Okay, we'll figure that stuff out, I guess. Alright, so we have an enforcer, so who do we want to take out first? Let's neutralize the threats. Back up. There we go. The enforcer goes down. Right, getting some items. Finally starting to loot some items off of these guys. Alright, iron plates and iron ore. I can't wait to get into the crafting system in this game. Nobody else around here. We're doing good. We're moving through. We've got snipers again? Yes, we do. They do so much damage. I know it doesn't look like a lot of damage, but you got to think that I don't have an unlimited supply of these health potions, so... And I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of boss at the end of this. Alright, a portable altar allows nearby players to invoke, removes, revives sickness uh, from nearby players who are currently in combat. Alright, that's cool. Something to keep in hand. I want that horse slot filled. I want that mount. Alright, all snipers. Very cool. Um, actually working our way up to level 5, too, so hopefully by the end of this we'll be 5. Alright, a couple snipers and recruits. Let's go ahead and snipers down. I don't know if that was the best. Maybe I should have went for the recruits and then, then killed the snipers. Okay, anybody in here? Not on the corners? What do we got over here? Something crazy's going on. I don't like the looks of it. Alright, let's open the gate and we'll kill you quickly. Snipers, recruits, recruits, and then the hexer. Of 
Quartermaster Otis. We have to save him. We have to save him, guys. Get out of that hex range, baby. Freeze him. We got him. Alright, give me my money. My nature kit. That went fairly well. Wasn't too bad. I'm gonna check this out. Is this a heal? Requires religion skill or kits. Don't have those yet. We do have. We've learned lore. Oh, very neat. So we'll be able to read a lot of lore just by pressing the uh, the center pad when you collect those scrolls. The Nasher snuck into the vaults during the Winter's attack on the city. They're here to steal the crown of Neverwinter. They almost got to it, and they angered the dead resting in the lower vaults. They're fighting each other down there right now. I sealed them in behind the hidden entrance to the lower vaults. There's a secret switch in the bookcase on the back wall. Stop the Nashers before they get the crown! Alright, don't worry, dude. I am stopping them. They are not going to get that crown. So far, nothing has stopped me. Magic focus. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pop another heal because looks like we're going to be getting into some Pretty dangerous stuff here. Let's grab this too. Oh, what do we got over here? Zombies! Alright, so this was a heal. Alright, unfortunately I just used my potion, so I will know now on the next dungeons not just to hold out. We might get a bonfire after a little bit. Alright, it requires thievery. Now, what I don't know about this game, so let me go over here and check real quick. Are you able to click on these bonfires, like respawn from these points? Guess not. That second blast does a ton of damage. I think he shoots one initially and then two or three on the second blast. That's why we get so much more damage on that second blast. Everybody's turned into zombies down here. All right, there's some more over there. None on this side, though, and that's where I want to go to see if I can get this. Yes, we have the Dungeoneering Kit. The Explorer's Journal. All right, so nothing over on these edges. Skeletal Soldier. Hmm. The one skeleton sword, I'll take him out first. Okay, he was the harder one of the two.
die. All right, perfect. I was assuming the skeletal soldier was the the weak one. That was a that was a bad assumption. Regular zombie riders are easy to take out. Oh, we got some more skeletons ahead of us. All right. And then the... These look like all the easy ones, though. I would say easy ones, but do a lot of damage. Interesting to try a melee character in this and see how uh, how fast the melee attacks are. These zombies walk so slow; you can just cast them down on their way in. Getting close. More, oh, the skeletal soldier again. All right. I will know better this time. Oh, tricky. Many more stamina left to uh, be porting around. I think he's gonna get me. I was gonna say, I think he's gonna get one more hit on me. I did not expect that archer attack. Go ahead and use the potion. Knowing my luck, there's gonna be a bonfire anywhere around here. Alright, simple leather and iron ore. Get a lot of crafting materials in here. Not any, uh... Not really any armor or weapons. That's a little discouraging. I really like finding new stuff, but this is not Diablo. You know, this isn't a dungeon crawler. This is gonna take a while to find the good gear. I'm assuming that most of it is probably crafted. Alright, the nature kit broke. Oh, man. I think it's worth using them. I don't have... How many more do I have? I am out of nature kits. I, I just assume it's worth using them instead of not, because... How nearby enemies you had to travel. Um, you, you don't know what's in each one, right? So you might as well just use them when you have them. Having a guide to tell you that, no, this is the one you want to use the nature kit on. Alright, oh man, we're gonna be getting into some some crazy fight up here. Look at the map, man, when things highlighted like that. Something something big is up ahead. And there is the fire. God. There's always the fire. So there's probably two more guys on this side. Alright, it's very cool. So go ahead and Get in this fire. I wish you could interact with it uh, in some way. 
just to even say, hey, this is where you're going to respawn next, that would be a little reassuring. Larry, you have this game. Well, dude, it is so far is a pretty fun game. Do you have it on PC? Oh, no. Hurry and get the crown. Or I believe Xbox One up. also has this. Those skeletal guards. They know what's up. The Guardian of the Nine. Oh, God. Come on, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him. Oh! Alright, I do have some good moves against him, but... At least dodge that. I can't get a good freeze on him. I don't want to get too far away. Like that other boss, he's probably going to. Uh, his life will all come back if we get too far away. Am I going to freeze him completely? I did it! Awesome! That was a, just a complete, complete put down. On Xbox One? You know, I never ended up downloading it on Xbox One. I don't know why. This is the PS4 Early Access. It's going to be releasing on PS4, free to play next week. Alright, just making sure there's nothing else around here. So cool. Alright, let's go ahead. And they got the Adventurer's Belt, so 36 maximum hit point. Go ahead and just equip that now. No reason not to. Alright, and now we'll return to the sergeant. So we got a quick way out of here, hopefully. You're a dwarf? I was uh I, I was kinda set on making a caster, just because I think magic is very interesting and I've if I have the choice to go caster, I like to do it. But my other choice, while I was creating this character, um, I was talking about making a, like a dwarven paladin. And I think that would be definitely the way to go. Wait till you get to the orcs. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm, I I want to fight uh, some bigger things. I actually want to try to get a group. That would be interesting if we could do a uh, a little bit harder of a dungeon. So I'm level four now. I need to return to Nox. Nox was this way. I also want to try to figure out how I get that mount going. So that would be interesting. But you might have to be level five for that. So, oh, this guy's level four. That is so sweet. Protectors on play need your help. That is the bold to the vault so soon after two hundred experience. Thanks for your help in defending the vault. Unfortunately, the Nash has got away with the crown of Neverwinter. The crown is a powerful symbol of rightful rule in this city must be found, for the Nashes can use it to start a rebellion. 200 experience. I'm expecting to level up. Let's do it. Yes! Level 5. Select powers, and then buy or reassign an encounter power. The Nashes have stolen the crown of Neverwinter from the vault, but we still have a chance to recover it. We just need to catch the two thieves who escaped, and trace where the Nashes are hiding the crown. We know that one of the thieves, a sly rogue called Honor Ray, 
uses a ruined building near the Driftwood Tavern as her hideout. The Nashes will flee if they see me or my squad approach, but you might be able to corner her and find out if Honor still has the crown. Alright, Nox, I'll chase her down for you. Um, let's go ahead and search. Before we go that way, let's head down this. This might have been the hallway that uh, Devil was talking about. And there might be somebody around here. Like this guy here. Cult of the dragon on evil plain and zone simple. rewards. I don't know what that is. Resisted and destroyed. All right, strongholds. I'm not sure what zone rewards is. This is a little weird. So this, you might have to collect these things. If you collect these artifacts, you can trade them up. Um, what else does he have at the store? All right, equipment, uh, weapons. A lot of artifact type stuff. These are high level. Oh yeah, level 60. Level 60, all kinds of stuff. Um, sell. I could probably sell this. I don't need it. Is that one copper? Is that a copper? I got one copper piece for that. And these old shoes. Uh, plate treasure. So simple ivory bowl. I don't know if you can break these down. I won't sell that yet. Uh, tre treasure. No, yeah. I won't sell those yet just in case I can use them in some form of crafting. Yeah, I don't know if this game is cross... Uh, like, is it cross-able? Can, like, you play with Xbox and PC? Other Harpers have more pressing need if that's the game. case, that'd be really cool. I appreciate your enthusiasm. And can right, the so depend on not going to give me a quest right now. I'll come back. Let's check these two guys. These are the other two that looked kind of interesting. Rewards claim agent. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so the Onyx Head Start Pack and the Onyx Key Ring, and then we got this special pack. Uh, this item is for display purposes only. Once you've purchased the special pack, come back and claim this. All right, I don't know what the special pack is. You might have to buy a special pack. So we're going to go ahead and get that, and we will go ahead and get our 20 enchanted keys. don't really know what those are for yet either, but hopefully we don't waste them. The Adventurer's Helper Pack. Looks like a bunch of stuff there. And a promo. All right, the Electric Tiger. Yeah, I think I do want to buy it, if it's just for free. And the Illusionist applies as long as your companion is active. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and take that as well. Level 60. Uh, oh, that's for if you're level 60, I guess. Uh, very neat. So let's go ahead and um, let's check out these items. All right. No insignia. Um, increases your mountain movement speed by 50%. Let's go ahead and equip this tiger. Your new mount, the electric tiger. Let's ride trophy has just popped. All right, I got to check this guy out. All right. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. All right, right off the bat, we get a sweet tiger mount. Look at that. So this will probably help out later in the game. Uh, running around town, I'll even do it just because it's cool. But very neat. Uh, what does she have? I can actually talk to her. Oh, always looking for ancient relics. Okay, we don't have any ancient relics at the moment. So the tiger is worth its weight. But what else do we have? All right, uh, bound. Active bonus supplies. Bind. So is that... Binds to me, controller, rank one, bound to character, active bonus, 55 lifesteal, uh, applies to you as long as this companion is active. I'm going to wait on that because I don't know, I, I hope it's not a one-time use thing. We're going to hold off on it for a second. Go ahead and open this and collect all those goodies. The XP booster would have actually been uh, really good. Bonus. 25% experience earned for 10,000 experience. 
total. Awesome. Okay. Uh, recovers you and the whole group. Greater stone of health. The stone describes symbols. Fully heal the welder when it starts with 200 total charges. They give you a nice little set of, uh, of gear. And this thing, apparently, we can just keep using it. Use for 10,000 EXP total. Let's go ahead and use it and see what happens. Oh, it's a one-time use. Oh, you, you tricky bastards. Well, one time is fine, I guess. I thought I was going to just blow through this game. Okay, go to the Powers tab via the menu. Let's go ahead and... Powers. Character? Powers. Alright, you gain points each time you level up. Use these points to purchase new powers, or probably upgrade the ones you have. Alright. Um, very neat. So, we can... Alright, the Ray of Frost is very nice. I like it. Make it more 10% uh, more damage. 10% more damage for the magic missile, which is also good. Uh, how many points do we have? We have one point available. All right, and we have the chill strike. Now we apparently also have ice storm and orb of imposition. Five points spent and level five, so we can also take some of this stuff. All right, conduit of ice. Turn target enemy into a conduit of ice storm, dealing damage to them and enemies around them for a short period. That sounds pretty good. Entangling force. Stun your target, pulling them to the air and choking them for a short period. Oh, that sounds terrible as well. Um, all right, I really, I'm gonna go for the conduit. Yeah, I do. I want to get that. Okay, and that is linked to triangle. So the only thing that I don't have is this. Oh, no action required. So this is just personal. Increases the duration of your control powers by five percent. So this is something I'm gonna want to definitely level up. We will go. Uh, we will go with that. I press. I need to have a target to do that. Holy crap! That's cool. Oh, that's super neat. All right, so we continue on. Let's hop on this tiger. Go find honor kind of ironic this thief's name is Honor. On our way to the tunnels. Uh, okay, kind of lost where I was supposed to go. Alright, this way. Oh, and we can jump on the mount. Neat. I'll tell you what, this is a pretty good port. I, the, I really don't even mind the graphics being a little simpler because the frame rate, everything is running really good. I don't know if this is going to be battles down here. I was just supposed to find this lady, but it's possible this is going to be loaded with bandits. Oh, it definitely is. Alright, so if that's the case, let's try out our new spell. So the conduit, and we'll put it on, like, I don't know, this guy here. Look at, they're all taking damage. Oh, that is... I feel like a total badass right now. Go ahead and stand in the fire. All good to go. That is insane. I, I definitely made the right choice, I think, in skills. I cannot wait to level up again. Alright, so we're going to loot all of that and continue on. Kill 50 Nashers. Oh shit, here we go, guys. Finally got ourselves a, uh, a bad boy here. 
Uh, give him the conduct so the other guys die. Alright, I don't have enough. It's probably stamina that's. The enforcer. Yeah, I can't use this spell again, so it must be when that fully. When that gem fully charges. Then I can unleash that superpower. That must be what's going on. Because that was very sweet. All those ice rocks coming out of the ground. That was super cool. Alright, I don't think I have any more of these nature kits. Do I? Or did? Oh, I might have got a couple in those bags. That's cool, because there's a lot of items in there. Just wait till I meet the boss. Oh no! Larry, don't scare me, man. I'm all by myself. I should have brought somebody. I'm gonna freeze you, buddy. a regular hexer, so I don't think he's that big of a deal. I'm not going to fall for it again. I'm not going to heal yet. I'm going to wait it out and see if there is another fire. Alright, there's a nature kit. And 52 copper. Simple iron. Alright, who do we got in here? Oh, this makes me think I should heal. Alright, I guess I could just heal, though, once the battle starts. Alright, there's Honor. She's not going to go down without a fight, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, alright. There we go. Boom! That was awesome. Can I take the hits for a second, just a freezer? That dot damage is, is just really good. I feel so strong now. I just feel like, epically strong. I'm just going to tank her out at the end. Give me that dungeoneering kit. We got the note. We are all good. We can go ahead and collect our reward. What do we have here? Ooh, the dungeoneering kit broke. Again. I was gonna say we we need to keep trying. If it's breaking, it must be good back here. Portable altar. Ooh, the thievery kit. I didn't have that before, and I needed it, so I got two of those now. Well, the uh, hmm. Wonder where I'm supposed to go. The adventurer's talisman. All right, plus 16 power held in the offhand. Definitely equipping that right away. And what is this? The note. We need to take that back. Uh, the start pack. Yeah, I didn't open this. I'm going to go ahead and collect all those items as well. A fragile onyx weapon. That's probably something that I don't need, right? A Grey Cloak's legacy. Old weapon case. Grey Cloak's orb, plus two. Of rare quality. Oh! Item level 13! Holy crap! Look at that! Well, if the tiger itself wasn't worth its weight, 
I'm going to be doing some mad damage now. Level 13 weapon. I'd probably be blowing through people. Now that might be a little too much. Giving you something like that right off the bat might be just a little too much. Alright, once again, the load times fairly quick. Let's go ahead and get this tiger out. That is one of the coolest mounts. We'll head back and turn this in. That boss was not too hard. It was uh, very similar to the other boss. I really like the combat, though, of jumping in and out um, and dodging their attacks. I think it's definitely... Um, I don't know, it feels like it might be more suited to a melee character, but if I was in a group, I could definitely see enjoying like big battles with these... Uh, with these red combat zones that you have to stay out of. All right, let's go ahead and talk Protectors to the sergeant. On play. Need your help. I think I'm gonna get like 200 experience too. Last one went to Black Lake. That explains a lot. Wow. Okay, I didn't get the level, but that was a lot of experience. If Gotham's gone into Black Lake District, that's going to be trouble. Black Lake District is a mess. I'm not just talking about the sludge from the lake. The National Rebels are openly defying Lord Nevermore's rule and are attacking anyone who won't swear loyalty to their leader, Karzov. Meet with Private Hothwadon Falwin. If Gothwadon is still in Black Lake, Hothwadon will know about it. Let's go ahead and continue on with these quests. I'm going to try to stick with this story for now. Tonight, this seems like the way to go. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't think we're going to find an end to this quest chain tonight. It seems like there's one after another. I know that at any point we can probably pick up some of these other quests, though, and, and run that route. But I'm just kind of in the mood for exploring, so... Alright, we need to go to a Black Lake, so... Let's, let's check out, alright, so there's Black Lake. Minimum level 5. Luckily for us, we meet that. We also have a sweet weapon, so I'm not really scared. I'll write your name down, Larry, for Xbox. Um, I don't, you know, I don't currently have this on Xbox, but it might be something that I uh, pick up. If you end up getting it on, like, a PlayStation 4, what definitely add me. Distance. That goes for everybody Black watching right now. Feel to free to uh, jump into the game with me at any point. All right. Watch your step in this district. Black Lake is home only to the desperate and the deranged. Well met. I am Hothadon Falwin. Private in the service of the city of Neverwinter, soldier in the squad of Sergeant Knox, finder of secrets, and hunter of criminals. I had not heard you were coming, but I look forward to working with you. Last I heard, Sergeant Knox sent you on the trail of one Gothwin Cooper. I have news of his whereabouts, but I fear it's not good. All right, let's go ahead and get that little bit of experience. Get us that much closer to six. Our best hope for finding Karzov and the Stolen Crown lies with the Nasha Cutpurse Gothwin Cooper, who took part of the theft. I've marked a few of his known haunts on your map. Investigate those areas and see if you can turn up some clue to where he may be hiding. All right, let's go ahead and hop on our tiger and we can go. All right, so you got a bulletin board. I can't click on that. I'm just going to go for the clues first. Look at all this extra stuff, though. A skirmish master. I didn't even think about PvP. PvP would be... Alright, this guy looks like he might have something. You need to be careful beyond this point. Alright, I don't want to listen. This whole area is under Nasher control. Let's, the let's stick... The leader Karzov has them all whipped into a fervor. They've become hostile to all outsiders, and will attack on sight. Oh, crap. Our oh, this is a hostile area? Gates, so this area should be safe. But I strongly recommend you spend some spare... Alright, we got one clue. Let's get to the other. All right. So right now, this is pretty good. Oh, we have an alchemist. Most folks consider the Black Lake a polluted mess. Oh, I was hoping you were going to give me some. But for an alchemist, it's brimming with possibilities. Some spells or something. All right. There looks like an enemy over there. Or is that just another player character? Yes, another player. Oh, here we go. Some zombies. All right.
Zombie Slayer, kill 50 zombies. I don't think that will be a problem. I hate zombies. The nature kit broke. 75% chance. The fact that it broke is crazy. Alright, it's uh, two out of three. We're going to find that last location. Alright, snipers, hexer. Oh, the hexer. Alright, let's go ahead and pop that on the hexer. Oh, suck. Suck all the life out of me. potion healing, all kinds of good stuff in that. That was a nice little battle. I figure I might as well attack these guys while I can and get a little bit of that uh, extra experience. It's, we're almost, as you can see, we're like a just a touch from six. We'll probably get six before we even turn in this quest. Oh, especially with an enforcer. All right. That spell is so strong. Look at how much damage I'm doing with this new weapon. You see how fast those guys melted away? Inventory is full. Oh, we're going to play that game, huh? All right, let me get the clue, and then we can return. I'm going to have to empty my inventory on one of these guys. I think there was... Oh, boy. All right, uh, here we go. Look at how much damage. Oh my god, that's just an insane amount of damage. Alright. I was hoping that some of these items might stack if I already had them. Whip out our tiger and head back here. Oh, we okay, if we can port, we will port out of our tiger. That's something to remember. Heal up. All right, I'll turn this in, and then let's talk to, I think this was a merchant over here. Let's try to sell some of these items. All right, we need to clean up this inventory, and hopefully buy a backpack. they got to be an extra bag we can have. All right, uh, these items that I thought were important, we're going to get rid of. Because anything gray is probably... Let's just sell all of them. Probably not worth having. used in a quest, so never mind. We will keep that. Oh, anything red do we not need? Oh, yeah, okay. That's a cleric item. Sell that. Um, this belt, plus 30 maximum, so I won't use that. Um, this one, though, is worth. So I'll keep that and end up using it. Common flower. I don't know if those... Are any of these... Alright, Larry, so like the uh, common flower, would that be used in crafting later on? Is that something I should keep, or is that something I should sell? I'm going to sell this plain crystal orb, because I have the baddest weapon on the block right now. There's the sewer key, I'm going to keep that. What I need to do is find a... like the explorer's journal. Is that worth keeping? Alright, let's back up and put on that... Item. Okay, so we have this chest piece plus six defense, and this one will also give me plus six defense. Like, you know, I don't need two mounts on me at any given time. All right, plus nine recovery, but minus thirty-six hit points. That's a it's good. I'm gonna. I think at this level, I'm gonna keep the hit points. Later on in the game, I would probably want the recovery. So let's back up. All right, for right now, I think I'll sell the flower, because... Yeah, profession resources. So if the flower was important, it'd be in the profession resources. So it's... Because it's not, it's getting sold. That's getting sold. This is getting sold. We're keeping the quest item. The explorer's journal's getting sold. 
Uh, and that's what I have equipped. Did I just take it off? I cannot guarantee your safety beyond this point. Oh no, I still got it on. Okay. It's like I didn't just unequip and sell it, did I? Oh, where is he? There he is. I've been keeping Sergeant Knox surprised of your progress. I put the dismissive note, the dead bodies, and the sewer key. They all add up to one thing. Gothwin Cooper has been kidnapped by the infamous Dead Rats Gang. The Dead Rats Gang? Watch your step in this district. Black Lake is home only to the desperate and the deranged. We aren't the only ones who want Gothwin to reveal the location of Karzov and the Crown. A gang of were-rat thieves, known as the Dead Rats, caught wind of his involvement and kidnapped him. The Nashers abandoned Gothwin to his fate, so if you can rescue him, he will likely tell us everything he knows. The Dead Rats there is... How's that person support the Nashers claim to be revolutionaries? But they're just an Alright, I'm gonna get the stolen goods from the Nashers too. It's the waterfront is a dangerous place. View the queue list. Alright, these must be the PvP areas. I'm gonna try that out a little bit. Let's uh finish this quest line, recover the stolen goods, and also uh, go to the Black Lake sewers. Because I'm I'm willing to bet they're both in this area. I do need though. Let's move this around. There we go. Quest journal. Bring it up. And uh, draw the path to the dead rats. That's that's what I want. And if we find some stolen goods on the way, like probably this right here, all the better. Look at that damage. I don't even have to fight them. Oh, holy shit! What is that thing? That must be the rats. Oh, I stood in the fire for a second. Alright, this is a total ambush. Sorry, guys, you're the ones that stole the goods, not me. A restoring belt. I don't know. Like, restoring plus nine might be worthwhile. Oh, come on. I clear them out. You take the goods. I see how it is. Alright, one, two. Uh, follow that path. Where's the path? Oh, right here. Alright. Let's see if this guy wants to, uh, wants to go in. Request to join group. We join group. We didn't. We did not join group. Okay. Guy should have felt obligated to group. Man, we're the new to this game here. Oh, these guys are little rat people. Very neat. I'm feeling pretty good about this right now because I got a really nice weapon. The mage was a little stronger, but stood no chance. For my new spells. Identification. Select an unidentified object and choose Identify to use the scroll and reveal the item's stats. Alright, we need to set a new power. We have a combat point, or a power point. So, um, is it the Ice Storm? That's like a special that only gets used occasionally. So I think if I was to do anything, it's probably going to be the Magic Missile right now. Um, because between that and, and the Orb, but my normal attack, I probably want to do a little bit more damage. Because that magic missile is just something that we're always using. Ooh, mugger. Alright. 
<laughs> wow. Just destroy. I thought it was going to be harder because he was a little bigger. Not at all. Very cool looking, though. Cool looking enemy. all my stamina but I just feel like I am look at how much experience I got oh my god I'm gonna hit level 7 this is so reminding me of the days of MMOs and just having a fun time I get so excited when you level up you get that point and you get to put in I do like how games like uh, like Warcraft though and uh, EverQuest do it where you where you gain like three levels and then you get these five other like these five skills you can choose from at that point. Trap spotted. You oh suffered a minor injury. Alright. Alright. So I'm gonna have to two minor injuries in the same location. Upgrade the injury. Be a little bit easier severe. going forward. Use an injury kit or stand by a campfire for three minutes to remove one minor injury. Alright, or stand by a campfire to remove the minor injury, so. Hopefully we have a, uh, which I guess just means to heal a little bit of damage. Thanks for telling me that. I already kind of already knew that. You're already level 14. Jeez. Yeah, Devil was on here earlier, and he said he was level 16 already. He started playing earlier today. Oh, a trap. Um. And that's pretty good. I mean, you, we are leveling up rather quick, so if you got some time to put in... Ooh, am I going down? A reward point. All right, here's a fire. Perfect. Let's go ahead and heal up. Um, don't have anything in there. Let's check the inventory. Look at that. Res restoring great sword with light... This is why a melee character is fun. I mean, I, I do like mage, but... When you see stuff like that, and you just want to try it out. Alright, then I can't use that either. We've only got five slots left. I'm going to have to look into uh, getting a new bag. Buy a bag with... The, we don't have enough Zen. Now, Zen is probably the uh, pay items in this game, and I don't plan on using... You are injured. I thought it was supposed to heal me if I stayed in here. Because the game is going to be free-to-play, so, of course, with every free-to-play game, there are microtransactions. Zen is probably the microtransactions of this game. Um, you know, and if you want to purchase those, then you can, and if you don't want to, then you don't have to. I am going to choose not to and try to get through, try to get to endgame without purchasing any Zen and see how that goes. Now, bag space is obviously going to be come an issue, so how we can grind for Zen, we'll have to figure out. I should have known. I should have known. Get out of there. Alright, let's take him down, guys. With that new weapon, we're gonna just probably demolish him. There we go. Oh! That is insane. Alright, dagger. We cannot use the dagger either. I bet you it's pretty good. That special move is just crazy. Treacherous bastard! Remind him that loyalty works both ways, preferably while you're twisting a blade in his guts. All right, Catherine. All right. Still says I'm injured. Uh, 
adventurer's boots. I'm going to go ahead and equip those right away. Those are definitely worth wearing. Um, we'll hit this. Oh, I actually expected it to open that gate, not drain the not drain the pool, but Oh, very neat if I was a warlock, but I'm not. I'll take it. I can sell it. It's one of those items that are going to get dropped if I... Alright, and so we exit. That was pretty fun. That was a good one. I liked it. I'm actually liking how these dungeons... I'm sure they'll get longer and harder as they go, but they're not... They're not extremely long. Kind of get in and get to the points. All right, we still need two more of the uh, Nasher stolen goods. So let's go grab those before we turn in these quests. You got mail. It should say it. It should do it just like it does you know? in AOL. You got mail. I didn't even realize I'm seven now. Robes. All right, we need one more package. Got to be a package somewhere around here. That looked like a reporting thing I kind of got stuck on to. Alright, we should be able to sell our stuff. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to do that back at the back at the place. Alright, so I want I want the robes. That's what I got equipped as robes? Alright, never mind. I'm getting a lot of duplicate items. Greater scroll of identification. Alright, all this stuff is kind of things that I want to keep right now. It's definitely making me wonder about when I'm going to have to buy another bag and how that's going to work. Alright, I'm still injured. I thought it said I could hang out at the fire. I wouldn't see you having to stand at the fire for a long period of time. Alright, that is not what I need. Here we go. Finally! Found the trail. Oh, it's the trail back. I don't want the trail back yet. Oh, you got me, caster. I was standing in your shit. Objective complete. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and run back. Jump or pounce. Turn this stuff in. Uh, we're two bubbles into seven. And I don't know what the icons are in the top right. One is the Zen icon, that is the icon for that currency. I've been keeping Sergeant Nott surprised of your pro Gothwin told us everything. Look at all now that experience. We know where Kazav is hiding and where the crown is. With any luck, we'll catch him and recover the crown before the day is done. Watch your step in this district. Black Lake is home only to the desperate and the deranged. According to Gothwin's information, Kazav is hiding in a safe house right, nearby. We're meet while Zoe. the crown is hidden in their headquarters. Meet with Level 8. Oh, man. Alright, we got two points to use. Let's go ahead and... Alright, I know I want to do this. I know I want to uh, increase that orb, because that is a passive ability. Alright, currently active. Um, And then the question that she'll strike... 
the conduit. I think I gotta upgrade the conduit. I mean, that is... That's really where the damage has been coming from. Spell mastery. Which one are we doing, man? Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Two more levels and we get to move on to that. Alright, so meet with Zoe. Let's go ahead. The other guys can take a break. We're, we're moving forward. Forcer, he's the one that's going to get the conduit. Jeez. Just decimating him. I cannot wait. Completely off topic, but I cannot wait to play uh, the new hero, Ana, in Overwatch. Sombra, a.k.a. Ana, is now on the public test servers, if you play on PC. Uh, but we're probably going to have to wait like a month before we get it on PlayStation. I will forever question why I did not get Overwatch on PC. It's, I think I just assumed that PlayStation more of my friends would be playing on. Um, and it's kind of worked out both ways. I've, a lot of people that play on PlayStation, a lot of people that play on PC, and of course, each one of them wanted me to get the other. Now I have all the get it on PC. Oh, I gotta get out of that. I see that, I warped right into it. Alright. He did some decent damage to me. That was a lot of people, though. Piercing Longbow. I'm finding a lot of weapons, just nothing for me. And the orb is cool, but I kind of prefer, like, a staff. Looks a little bit better. I did not mean to put it on him. I wanted it on the Hexer. I feel like I did not get my bang for my buck on that one. The conduit is always good on the higher-leveled guy. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to go? No? This is not where I'm supposed to go. Trying right, to meet with Zoe. There she is. The rebels are everywhere. Watch. I'm glad you made it. You've been giving the Nashers a real thrashing. Wish I could have been out there helping. But someone had to keep an eye on the safe house. By the look of things, they figured out we're onto them. Right. Ready for our next move? The Nasher set fire to the safe house to cover their escape. But I didn't see Karzal leave. We might still have a chance to catch him here. Oh, and I'm coming with you. Karzal put a bounty on my head, and I want to pay him back in kind. Nice. Zoe is on our side. Let's do it. Oh, do we need to, uh... A student of history. All right, let's do it. Zoe is coming. Come with me, Zoe. I need a, I need a group member. This is gonna be really cool. Hopefully, Zoe does a little bit better uh, than the first go. What, Wilfred? Wilfred. He was okay, but he wasn't great. Now I still have the injure. I wonder what's going on with that. I'm gonna have to find a way to heal me of these injuries. The Nashas know the corner. They've right. set fire to the place to cover their escape. Right, we need to hurry. There we go. Let's go, Zoe. Alright, so is there anything in here? I'm looking for treasure. Oh! Yeah, Zoe, I'm not a tank. I guess you're not either, though. I think we're both going to do some pretty good damage on these guys. The loot falling on the floor is fine. It really is. I think I would prefer if it just kind of auto whipped. Look at how that just killed the archers standing near him. That conduit. He did, I didn't even have to attack those other archers. That's such... 
Such an OP spell right now. I have the thievery kits. Alright, so still injured. Dealing with it. Alright, so recruits, so recruits. Recruits. Just clear a room, man. I'm just clearing rooms. Alright, that is a pairing belt. Let's check it out. Plus we are really low on... Alright, plus 9 deflection. Another another thing that might be worthwhile. Alright, I'm going to have to actually probably start dropping this crap. Yeah, I am sure I want to discard it because... I'm, I'm willing to bet that the weapons and belts are worth more than the than the trash. Cool. I have a feeling that these kits will eventually run out, and I'm going to need to use that Zen that to purchase more kits as well, and then you can find better items. It's just a just a hint. Dungeons and Dragons and uh, the world and everything has always been so cool. So I was definitely all about trying this out. I figured if it was good and I liked it, uh, this would be a game that definitely is going to compete with my Overwatch time. Oh man, okay, here we go. I don't want to leave you in there. You could die. Zoe, how you doing? I was kind of hoping for a, a fire here soon. Major success. Right, we might be hitting a fire soon, we might not. I do have a lot of health potions though, so I'm not completely worried about it. Oh shit, look at how big that is. We'll hold them off. Oh, that was the one I was actually a little afraid of. Two bosses. Take that, and there's that. That's the end of you. Those guys, I think, were easier uh, than the first bosses. All right, the adventurer's knapsack. So probably a lot of things in here. Oh, perfect! Oh, perfect! An actual knapsack. Nice. Now we can open this adventurous reward and, and put the rest of these things in here. Very cool. Oh, you can't open it until level 10. Alright. No big deal. Alright, escape the fire and get out. Wow! I really thought that that fight would be a little bit harder. Rebels are everywhere. Watch out for ambushes. Nine hells. Kozov got away. But, thanks to you, we have a pretty good idea where he's going. What's even better, he doesn't know that we know. Ready for our next move? Level nine. 
Kozlov will head for Nasha headquarters, an old warehouse by the shore of the lake. According to Gothman, that's where they're keeping the crown as well. Okay. I'm definitely... You're going to need a distraction to keep the Nashas off your back while you're going... Oh, cool. Both quests are accepted. Great. I'm, I'm doing both. I actually want the raid, though, as my... Oh, crap. Let's uh, hit up the quest panel. And put that as the quest path. All right. Hopefully we find a uh, merchant on the way. I knew it. I, I was like, are we going to get aggroed eventually by these groups? How does that work in here? Whoa, check that out. Level 6. Is that the warlock? I might have made the wrong choice, man, if that's the warlock. Alright, here's a merchant. We're going to go over here. I want a... that looks like a, like a wraith pet. Sell, sell. Um, still gonna keep the uh, extra hit points right now. Later on, that's not gonna affect. Uh, bound Miner Injury Kit. Good! Fix this injury. Um... There, no longer injured. All right. Oh, that's so sweet. But I guess I'm the damage dealer, right? I I, I do the most direct damage. Lakeside. Remember Winter Guard. They just keep taking damage. Alright, so here's the crate. We need five of these crates. Vital plate armor. I need better armor for casters. This is just kind of how these kind of games go. You usually find the armor for people that aren't you. That's why you need the groups, man. Alright. Alright, it's gotta get the crates while we're out here. There's one more thing. That's three crates. So much damage. I thought those were crates. Yeah, they are. Okay. It's from far away. I didn't know if I was going to get them or not. All right. Quest complete. And now we will raid the headquarters. Now that we got our crates. i go this way. Take out the slightly easier guys on the way through. I guess it doesn't really matter. We will hit level 10 shortly. No matter how we go about getting there. Very nice, very nice. Religion kit success. I don't even know if that's it. Oh, 
Alright, uh, where is the path? Oh, here it is, good. Alright, go on in. Hopefully there's a fire at the front and we can heal up. It usually is. Nice. Alright, did we have a power? Yes, we do have a power point uh, for our level 9. Um, and we cannot rank this up until 20 points are spent. Everything can only get to 2, basically. Um, so in that case, let's go ahead and... Now, Shannon, also damaging those around the target. That's not bad, and Spell Mastery is uh, right around the corner. Let's go ahead and uh, increase, ooh, increase the damage. Let's increase the damage of Ray of Frost first. That might have been the wrong way to go, but... It's a spell I use. Let's take this guy down, man. I've been chasing this guy. I'm tired of chase him. Frozen! Oh, no! Since we're here, we might as well just heal up real quick. There we go. I don't know if all those guys are going to come back or not, but if they do, this would be a heck of a grind spot, huh? Alright. I did not see them over there. That was... That was good. I'm usually pretty good at scouting the room. All good stuff. Check everywhere. The pairing belt. Uh, a lot of repeats on the items. So far, not very impressed. Well, at least we didn't take any fall damage there. Cellar entrance complete. Smiting robes. Put those on. I can guarantee you that's probably better than what we got. It definitely is. I thought that was a big guy over there, but it... Didn't handle that that very well. You want to definitely put the put the catalyst on the on the bigger guy. So it doesn't do a ton of damage over time, but it does a lot of damage to those little dudes. And if you put it on the big guy, it won't kill him, but you get maximum uh, damage on the small guys. Alright, so far, so good. I think I'm really kind of getting a handle on the combat at this point. Here we go, guys. Oh, 
That's pretty far away. Makes me think he's gonna... Try some crap. Alright, let me do this. How do you like that, huh? Get back, get back. Get out, oh, get out of there. Get out of there. Alright, I had to I had to use the health. I'm like stuck in a corner, I don't have any more stamina. That should do it. There we go, level 10 complete, a hero emerges trophy. If you guys watching right now, the PlayStation, when you stream from the PlayStation, it doesn't like to show you the trophy graphics and everything. Right now I'm getting my Elgato fixed. Um, they should be sending it back here pretty soon. And when they do, we will be streaming uh, with, with a little bit more action, you know? We'll have the webcam, we'll have the uh, subscriber pop-ups, we'll have the shout-outs, things like that. Um, and up until... A week ago, but well, I sent out the Elgato a week ago, but it was started messing up on me about a month ago. Oh, the trap! All right, look at that, the crown. I'll take the letter lore. We can read that later, and the orb of mastery. Still not as good as what I got, um, but if you didn't get that special package at the beginning, that would probably be a pretty sweet weapon right now. Anyone know where to get the starter pack information? Yes, I do. Dolphin, let's uh, let's head out of here. Maybe I can show you the guy real quick. And I think then we're going to probably get close to the end of this stream tonight. Uh, the the major boss of that quest line has been taken. We have the crown of Netherwinter. All right, so now we need to get back to Knox. Oh, yeah, another trophy popped for cornering him down. Uh, which way? This way. Uh, run through the streets on our tiger. Uh, and this tiger, if you... This tiger here, um, you would get as part of the items, so... Definitely worth grabbing. Right, let's leave the district and head back. Uh, was it the tower? No, it was the protector's enclave, so let's go ahead. The load times in this are actually pretty good, too. I'm, I'm fairly impressed with the load times. I think this right here has been the longest. So zoning back into the major town has been the longest uh, so far. We did have mail earlier, too. Let's see what it says. Okay, a couple of new ones. Uh, you don't know me yet. My name is Lugan. Research assistant by Trey, blah, blah, blah. We will... Okay, these are two things that I'm going to get on the next stream. We'll hit the mailbox up first on the next stream. Uh, Dolphin, let me show you where you get those items, okay? So, let's find out where we are. We're down by the docks. All right, we have to go back up this way. We need to turn in this quest anyway. And now that we're level 10, we should be able to uh, do that spell mastery. All right. Uh, for you guys watching on PlayStation 4, those are through the PSN, uh, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on Zero Hill 
or YouTube slash Zero Hill. Um, I stream pretty regularly now. I try to do it um, a couple of times a week. Tuesdays and Thursdays are always going to be new releases, and then uh, a couple times a week and on the weekend. All right, this is so when you first start out, Dolphin. Um, when after the first little tutorial area, you're going to land right here. This is like where you're gonna where you're gonna be, and um, what you want to do is head this way and turn down this tunnel. You're gonna have a couple quest guys before this, but if you if you want, just ignore them. Run over here, and the guy with the jewel or with the bag on his head right there, the box, is the rewards claim vendor, and then. This is the uh, Onyx Head Start special that you'll get. Um, I guess this special pack, this must be something like if you buy special packs or maybe you bought the, the Collector's Edition or something. Uh, but the Onyx Head Start pack you would get. And then uh, the Electric Tiger here in the promo. And the Renegade Illusionist. So That's where you get your, your reward claims. And I think you can do it at any level. Now I'm giving hints. Yeah, Larry, I am a professional now. I've I've hit level 10. Actually, we should be able to... Oh, we have feats as well. All right, so let's hit the powers up first. Maybe I should look at feats, though. All right, so spell mastery. Your mastery of the arcane arts allows you to place additional encounter power in your R1 slots. Encounter power slated in this way gain additional effects. So we probably can't do... Oh, we can... All right. So now that we have spell mastery, oh, do we just have it? Does that just okay? We just get that at level ten. So in that case, our chill strike now should stun and do additional damage. And with that, now now is becomes the question of what what do we start? Because we're gonna have to really start working on our our character now. I can't put points into everything. Uh, like I was doing. The conduit I, is by far I'm sticking with that. I think Entangling Force would probably be good but the uh, the the damage over time and the area effect of the conduit is the way to go. The chill strike though is also not very bad so I think what I'll do is kind of stick with Magic Missile, Chill Strike and the conduit. The Ray of Frost we've already got upgraded too, so we can stick with that. So now what we need to do is uh, Arcane Singularity or Oppression Force. Okay, so create a powerful Singularity that sucks in all enemies into a large area when cast. Create a forces that dazes nearby enemies and then explodes after a brief time, dazzling them further. Alright. Interesting. Uh, this game or ESO, Larry's talking about the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, and Marshall, I, you know what? To tell you the truth, I think that they're two different games. I played a lot of Elder Scrolls Online, and it's not bad by any means. I think the only thing that turned me off to it is I was so engaged in WoW still at the time, it just didn't hit that mark for me. But between the two, I would say that if you're going for... Uh, if you want, this game's been out for a while too, so so remember that. But if you want better graphics, maybe um, more dazzling effects, you might get that out of Elder Scrolls. The world is really big; it is a fun game, and they're and they're still putting out content. Uh, with that being said, I still see content being put out for this. If you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan, if you if you like reading like Forgotten Realms books and stuff, you might like the lore in Neverwinter better. Um, that's a hard sell. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna ask me between some bigger contenders like WoW and and ESO, that would be different. But between this and ESO, uh, this being free right now on console, and if you were to uh, get ESO, it would maybe take a little bit more uh, to get into it because of the price difference. But I think for for a free game, this should be on your system. You should make a character, you should play him, and then just have and then just have fun. And if you still want to play ESO, you can do that too. But you should definitely have this on your system uh, for free. Uh, and they like Skyrim better? Um, I cannot wait for the re-release of Skyrim. Talk about competition with Overwatch. I will be streaming quite a bit of Skyrim. 
I'm probably going to get sucked into that world so so much so that season two of Overwatch uh, competitive is going to have to suffer a little because of it. All right, so, uh, I really need to make this choice here. Um, I like the the dazzling. I actually like the idea of them kind of getting dazed because pulling everybody into a into a group is fine, but and actually, maybe using the conduit and then pulling everybody into the group would be kind of cool. Oh, I don't know. As a caster, though, playing solo, I'm kind of I'm gonna go with the with the dazzling. See how well this works. It might be it might be something that I don't use that often, but we'll find out. So L1 and triangle to release that. Let's see if we can do it now. Will it let me do it. Not enough action points. Okay, so that is one that requires the action points to use. So it's not something I'm going to use all the time. Uh, would you like to join them? Respond to the invitation. Unfortunately, uh, Val Valmoth, I'm going to have to decline because uh, I'm not going to be on here for very much longer tonight. I've been streaming for a couple hours now. Protectors on play. Need your help. How about at the 1999 starter pack? Is it worth it? Uh, all right, so I ex I talked about that earlier. Let me finish this well, quest real quick. Back in the vault. Get that that look at how much experience that is. Cause as many victims have some justice. Oh, I knew you were the one to watch, but this <laughs> this is more than I could have dared hope for. I think I almost dismissed you that day on the Sleeping Dragon Bridge. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad you've come to Neverwinter. But it ain't over yet. All right, taking all of that experience, so good. All right, we have a ton of quests, including domination PvP. So that's something that we will. Domination let me grab that. Battle. I'm gonna do some PvP the on the next stream. You've done what? I'm gonna grab all of these quests oh, now, and when we come oh, back on the next stream, we'll knock them all out. Uh, as far as so, how about the 1999 starter pack? Well, let me show you real quick what you get with the starter pack. Actually, I don't know if I can show you the whole thing because I already opened one of the bags. And meet with Sergeant Creed at the Fallen Tower Tavern. He can tell you more. All right, so at the rewards vendor here. All right, you see that tiger that he's on? I got the tiger as well. Um, if you if you do get the starter pack, you get a couple of mounts. You get a couple of items. The reward vendor here will have, like, the Onyx Head Start Pack. You get a uh, frag Fragile Onyx Weapon, which, for me, which is a level 13 weapon. So, basically, I'm owning everything right now. I just hit level 10. It's going to start wearing off its effectiveness. But up until this point, I've just been destroying everything. You get the Onyx Horse, uh, the Grey Coke's Legacy, which is a bunch of other stuff. You get a bunch of keys that I haven't ended up using, like a pack of 20 keys. And then over in the promo, when you log in, you can get the Electric Tiger and the Renegade Illusionist. Now, is it worth getting if you're going to play the game? I think it's worth getting. Um, I, I've already said that I'm not going to, in, in this entire walkthrough, I'm never going to buy any of this Zen. And I'd like to actually find out where that stuff is. Okay, here are the store, the Zen Market. So because this is a free-to-play game, um, and you'll find this in ESO too, they, they have microtransactions, and so... You know, like a mount right here is 500 zen. Uh, does it show how many zen I have? I have zero. I have zero zen. So if I wanted to buy zen, that would cost me money. Um, where does it show you how to buy zen? You probably have to buy zen from like the PlayStation Store, and who knows how much it is? It's probably like like five bucks, ten bucks. Uh, first time buyers pack. All right, let me just get the first time buyers pack. It's free. Right? Character is unable to purchase this item because I have zero claim, but the first time items pack is supposed to be free. Alright, you will receive this item through in-game mail after transferring at least 500 zen into your account using ARC. And ARC is the uh, is where you need to log in to create your account before playing the game uh, for free. I did that before the stream started tonight, so if you wanted to go back and look at how to do that, unfortunately I'm not able to, uh, to show that for you. Um... I don't know. I, I guess, once again, if you plan on playing the game, then I would say it's worth doing. As somebody that's not going to buy any Zen at all, I just refuse to do microtransactions. Um, and that goes just with any game. I'm just not into the microtransaction thing. I I went for it, uh, getting the mounts, knowing that this is going to be 
played quite a bit. I want to get to end game and, and kind of see what there is to see. Uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. And I think when you have a good game that's free, it's not a bad idea to, to put a little money towards the developer. I'm, I'm not totally against it. It's the microtransactions that, that kill me. Um, like Rocket League. They gave us to that, that for free on, uh, on PS4. And then when they came out with these like two ninety nine DLCs and stuff, it was like even if I'm not playing it all the time, it's totally gonna pick it up and support the developer in this because just amazing. Now those guys, man, they don't need any more support anymore. I'll tell you that that game sold like crazy and still selling like crazy. But that's just how I feel. I'm not gonna get into the uh, microtransactions. So guys, that's pretty much it. I know that a lot of you are still watching. And I uh, urge you guys on the PlayStation to... I think you can subscribe from the PlayStation. But if not, head over to YouTube slash Zero Hill. And uh, I will be playing some more of this game. Right now I'm doing a lot of Overwatch. But if you check out my channel, I have been doing walkthroughs for the past year and a half. I have a ton of games. Try to stick with all the newer releases, but we do a lot of indie titles as well. And uh, as we move forward with the channel, I am now going to start doing a lot more live streaming. And so uh, the YouTube live streaming is where it'll be. And I'll try to always continue on the PSN. It's just when we get games on Xbox and we get games on Wii and things like that, we're not going to be able to stream on PSN. So you'll want to be watching on YouTube for that. Uh, so until then, guys, thank you very much. This is part one. Be back for uh, guaranteed more Nether Winter on Thursday. So Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be into some more Nether Winter. Tomorrow will probably be a little bit more of competitive overwatch guys i'll see you later this is zero and i'm out